Okay, it seems lately some people have been a little confused about how to create 3D text in Blender. So we're going to do that today. Uh, right now we're using Blender 2.93.3. What we're going to do is show how this is done. Okay, now we've already gone through the process of starting a new object here. So here we go. First of all, from your object mode, like shown here in the corner, we're going to go to Add, and then we're going to go to Text, and click that. Now it may look like it's put nothing there, but when we scroll way in on this, oh, look at there, there it is. Okay, so now, we're going to go to edit mode and select that and hit tab twice. Now you'll notice the cursor that comes up on it. We can now use our keyboard to change it to whatever text we'd like. As such. Now, once you've got that in, we can start making it 3D. So, come down here to where they have the lowercase a icon in your properties section. Hit that. Now under there you'll find a section called geometry. Open that. And in there you'll find extrude. That's our magic deal. Let's go, let's go to make this uh, one millimeter tall. Uh, it looks pretty tall on here, but that's because this is already kind of small. So let's zoom out a little so we can see it better. Now we scroll a little further down, and in the section for alignment, we have horizontal, going to make that center, and vertical, which will also make center. Okay, now the text we've just created is at the very center of our little universe inside a blender. Now, since we've done that, let's go back to object mode. Okay, now it's an object, so we can come here into the item tab of our little sub-menu here and under uh, under X and Y we can change it to what we like to. Say if we set X to 5 millimeters and Y at 15 millimeters we get some pretty tall text here. <laughs> okay so let's switch that around. Make X 15 and Y 10. And there it is. We have our 3D text that we've put together. And what you can do at this point is whatever you want to, because it's created. I would suggest exporting it into a, an STL file, like so. That way you can take whatever you've created and pull it into other projects in the future. Hope that helped.